When we first started off, we talked about winning the championship. We were able to get a MIAC championship, but then we went out to the tournament and we shocked the world. Norfolk State basketball coach Anthony Evans today describing the phenomenal week his Spartan basketball team had, winning the MIAC championship, traveling to Omaha, Nebraska, upsetting the two-seed Missouri Tigers as sports fans all over the nation got to know Norfolk State. I'm Bruce Rader, and what a Monday it was on the campus of Norfolk State University today. A beautiful day as hundreds of students, alumni, and fans showed up to welcome home their Spartans. Norfolk State, only the fifth, 15th seed in the history of the NCAA basketball tournament to beat a second seed when NSU shocked Missouri Friday night in the West Regional, and from that point on, Norfolk State won the hearts of basketball fans throughout America with their refreshing enthusiasm and total class. And there he is, the star of the show, the big man, Kyle O'Quinn, who joined me tonight to talk about his remarkable weekend. On the court, now that it's over, what is that one thing that you're always going to remember for the rest of your life when you look back on this weekend? Probably Phil Pressy missing that shot. That last shot to seal the deal and me grabbing it down and seeing my teammates run around the court ecstatic, happy, happy as they never seen them before. I mean, that was the highest accolade any of us got individually and collectively. So seeing that shot rim out, it was the best time, me grabbing that ball down. I mean, I couldn't celebrate any, any better. Kyle, who was born in Queens, told me tonight he will graduate after the summer semester. He wants to teach sociology. He was one of eight players on the team from New York City, playing for Coach Evans, who's from Brooklyn, and was an assistant coach in Queens. But Kyle told me tonight he has fallen in love with Hampton Roads, and he wants to make his career here and not in the Big Apple. A welcome addition to our community. I'm sure you will agree. Hall of Fame quarterback John Elway got